Good morning, it's um, Willow here. I'm out gold detecting in the Wedderburn area. Um, I haven't done any good so far this morning. I'm with a couple of other guys. Um, it's been pretty hard work. Lots of little split shot and stuff like that. But I've been deliberately trying to sort of have a bit of a look around to try and find um, the better areas to dig. And um, obviously there's a lot of activity here with lots of muller keeps and stuff like that quite white looking um, pipe clay seems to be coming out of them um, at the top of this gully which is interesting um, but the interesting thing that I think that I found that is most promising is um, this these features here it sees um, slightly darker bands of um, stuff in the slate it's almost like a bluish color and I believe these are what they call the indicators um, which they reckon is associated with gold here in the Wedderburn area so if you search within sort of proximity of these sort of darker bands almost like a bluish colour they are actually um, then uh, you might meet with success so anyway uh, I don't know how well that they're actually showing but um, there's definitely a, a much bluer colour to the um, layers and some of the slate there is almost like a blue colour which increases which indicates an increased carbon content and that's running up it's sort of like in a northerly direction well this here shows the presence of the indicators I think even more clearly you see the lines of um, bluish colour in the road running in a line on our way to Inglewood. Well it's day three and I finally found my first piece of gold. Only a small piece, but still off the mark. You beauty. G'day, it's Willow here. I'm on a really good target. It's quite deep now. The hole's about um 20 centimetres deep and I'm into the rock um, I'm getting a very very loud noise so see the big bit of metal or it could be gold well, let's keep digging and find out what it is well the target's out of the hole it's in this clump so let's break it up and see what it is Then I won't dropped out in the ground.
Sorry about the mucking around here. Can't see why I can't see it. You beauty, it's a gold. I thought it was a bit of lead. Gee, that gave off a loud sound. Looks to be a specimen, actually. You beauty, I'm very excited about that. That was ridiculous how loud that was. Oh, on to the next. Well, this is number three piece of gold. Very small piece, this one, but it's still a nice colour. Probably only about 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of a gram. Very nice, out of the side of a um, little mullet keep. This is downtown Inglewood, one of the gold towns here in the Golden Triangle in Victoria. Very hot day. There's a wallaby sitting up here near yeah, in that it's shade. It's gotta be a steam shovel or something. Oh, the phone's ringing. We're never far away from the phone here. Interesting looking spot here at Inglewood. <clears throat> a 
very overgrown but white clay everywhere Well this is number four piece of gold, very small piece, probably about 0.1 of a gram. You can see it there in the middle. Okay, hopefully. Well this is my fifth piece of gold, I actually thought it was just a faint signal and thought it could have been just ground noise, but dug down and it actually got deeper. So this is a slightly bigger piece than the first. So not bad at all. Very happy with it. Well it's been a couple of days but here's another piece of gold, number six. Pretty small but makes a very loud noise. Sorry, hopefully the focus will work there. It's been taking a bit of time to focus. You beauty, on to the next. Well, another piece of gold just went a stone's throw of the car park. Nice and shiny, this one. 